Hello gang, Danny here, and uh, let's actually start by uh, doing some shopping, shall we? Okay, so Banksy, come here. Okay, so let's go to Boltex Trading Post, each member. Alright, so we can pull all the gold. Yep, okay, so, um... What we're going to do is buy leather gloves for the front line. Oh, hang on. I would buy them for the rest of the characters too, but um, the issue is like I I want a little bit of money just in case one of my guys dies. Uh, okay, so we will remove Banksy and add Mev. Okay, and then we'll inspect a bunch of people and equip. Alright, so um, we now have a front line of an AC of 4. That's fantastic. Alright, uh, so um, let's head out to the edge of town. Oh, by the way, I'm now using a different spell list for Wizardry 5 because the previous one I was using was not a complete spell list. It was missing quite a lot of the Wizardry 5 spells, so. Um, I should also point out that um, there's a feature that I've been missing. Pick locks. I also have wizards that can actually cast um, pick locks, but that's kind of a waste of wizards um, spell slots, so I will not be using that. So this is obviously the first lock I need to go attempt to pick. Now Picking a lock does not necessarily mean it's going to work first time. Um, so please bear that in mind. Like it's much like the identifying of items. Like if you, it can be, it can be a bit of a ball like to actually pick the lock. Oh, wrong character. Okay, so pick lock. We need to do it. Okay, so this thing's obviously not going to work. Oh, we definitely don't want to go here. Hang on. It's weird how this magical darkness here, but okay. No, there's a couple of other doors that I want to try to. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Need to go this way. I think Eddie's close to leveling, so we need to um to try and make that happen this episode. I think. Okay, we've got seven gold. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, we need to go this way now. Down. Alright, can we pick this lock? Might be rolling low here. Okay, looks like that lock isn't budging for now. Um, there's definitely another thing over here. There's also a corridor I haven't explored yet. I'm going to go explore the corridor, I think. Because uh, that other door is actually in a place where I can't Actually, no, I can get there. It's fine. I'm going to encounter. 
three acolytes, okay. Um Right, what is that spell that actually makes it so they can't actually cast spells? Bad airs, Katano. Alright, so we managed to get rid of them all. They were trying to put my guys to sleep there. Ooh, there's another door here. We just gotta power through this. Okay, oop. Uh, you? Oh, excellent! Wonder what's in here. You can kind of power away through a lot of his stuff now, it's kind of good. Crapless chest, okay Eddie, I believe you. Don't get everyone killed please, thank you. We'll leave him. We don't need to become evil. Okay, ooh, there's doors here. There are doors here. A raging glow bathes in a room in a rose-coloured light. It appears to be coming from a small stone altar. Uh, we will search it. What did we just get? Uh, no. Who picked that up? Eddie did. Oh! I believe that's your like item. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be trading that to Kirsty because she's really a squish. God damn, that is something. <laughs> okay, so we're making progress. Right, so where was that other door? Well, we can't. There was a um, a door that re requested that we actually had the orb, but the thing is, um, we don't technically know that this is the orb of Laginum yet, even though that's blatantly what this thing is. So let's see if we can pick this last door before we uh, ghostly figure. Please kill this thing because they're so annoying. <laughs> Okay. Now remember, we gotta go the correct way, which is actually down here. Did I just go the wrong way? I did. Crap. Alright, well. To be fair, we're not actually doing too badly. Yeah, okay, so we gotta go down here. These ice phantoms can be a massive pain in the ass if you don't kill them really quickly. Alright, let's see. Encounter! Five skeletons. Actually, we'll just fight these guys. I really wish I can give Kirsty like a crossbow or something. Even Meb. Okay, yeah, looks like that that's that's nothing doing. Okay, so we'll uh we'll continue to fight the good fight here. Remember most of my front line just leveled, so um we need to be wary of that. Uh Yeah we kind of need this uh all identified here. Okay, so we've 
so it's all up there. We gotta book it back to town. We don't have town teleport yet, so that's the wrong way. You surprise the monsters, and it's a uh, easy 271 XP. Ooh, Kirsty leveled now too. This is intriguing. Notice that I've not needed to use any of Meb's spells in a while. Did I just goof that up? I did. This door maze is so stupid. <laughs> Ooh, did somebody get hit? Somebody did get hit. It was Dean. Alright, well. Percy's going to require leveling anyway, so once we get out of here, we'll, we'll um, start healing people up. Yeah, it's this way. It's this way. Okay, before we do anything, let's cast some spells. Because, uh, why not, I guess? Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Alright, let's hope that Eddie actually gets a decent level up this time. Um. One hit point. Oh, Eddie got seven at least. That's good. Uh, actually, what am I doing? Um, Meb, Svet, Kirsty, I want you to pull all the gold. Remove Meb, add Banksy. Inspect Kirsty. Pull all the gold. Okay. Um. She can we get Kirsty a better weapon? Get her a mace. Oh, we can get her a holy basher. Yes. All right. Worth. Oh, and we can also get her some gauntlets. We'll get um. Eddie some gauntlets as well. We are running a bit low on cash here, so I'm actually going to stop spending now. Right, so let's remove Banksy before we do anything and add Med back in. Okay. Oh, you dipstick. Okay. It was actually a So let's start equipping stuff. She already had leather gloves, so I guess Meb's getting a pair of leather gloves now. Alright, cool. Trade him not all. Alright, so his AC's been lowered a little bit now, that's good. Alright, so 
How do you not know what this thing is? This is the Orbital Gynum. It's like the most recognizable goddamn artifact in the entire kingdom. It's been the central focal point of many great catastrophes of the falling upon the actual <laughs> from the kingdom. Like, how do you not know what this fucking thing is? <laughs> okay, so um, we'll trade this back to Kirsty. Uh, right now we can remove and add Med back in. Expect Kirsty because she actually has two pairs of leather gloves. So oh, he can't wear the leather gloves, which means I accidentally brought a pair of leather gloves. <laughs> Re? All right, okay, well. Oof, that was rough. We just lost 250 gold. It's fine, no, it's fine. Actually, yeah, Mev. I'm just gonna give Mev a little nap anyway, just in case he needs it. Um, uh, I need to move Eddie a sec and put Banksy back in. Expect Banksy. Have him pull all the gold. Okay, so you have enough just in case one of our guys goes down. Which is actually super helpful. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, um, I'm sorry ladies and gents, but this is going to be a shorter episode than normal today, because, uh, if I'm being honest with you, I kind of want to save my progress here. Now that I've actually found a very crucial plot quick, Wyan. Thank you very much, I'll catch you guys soon. Goodbye.